Serena Williams to serve. Well, thank you, and this should be fun. Tim Ryan, Kathy Rinaldi ready to go. Serena Williams will open serve a quarterfinal match on the big court, the Arthur Ashe Stadium court at the U.S. Open. Quarterfinal action under the lights. You can't beat right. this. First point to Anna. Number one seed, number one rank. They're each, each 25 years old. And here's a look at the folks that uh, they're going to miss a bunch of tennis, unfortunately. But uh, eventually this place will be packed. I don't think it will be long. <laughs> Once they get into the stadium, they'll be rushing to their seats. 15 all. They had to empty the stadium from the day session, so these uh, it's not that these people wanted to be late. Yeah. They didn't have a choice. Oh, double fault. 15-30. Well, sometimes Serena doesn't get off to a quick start. We've seen that in the past many, many times. And yeah, it's, it, it, that's a good point because it, also she seems to kind of pick up the pace of her power uh, dur during the course of a match as well. And she'll st she'll start out not trying to fire on all cylinders and be more concerned with placement rather than showing off her strength. The number eight seed in the tournament, 28 career titles, eight Grand Slam victories. She's won twice here. Well, that one a little loose. 30-40. And a break point for Anna. Boy, would she love to get a little help from Serena early. Second serve right where she wanted it. And so. that's the side we have to watch on Ennin. And that's the side that can start giving her trouble, the forehand wing. Back to Deuce. I'm sure there's nerves involved here oh, for both absolutely. players. Absolutely. Doesn't matter how great you are and how many times you've been out there. That's right. And that's a good forehand there for the winner. And second break point. Seeing Ennin running around that backhand, even though the backhand's her trademark shot. Oh, there's some good stuff from both the women. And the early break, game one, goes to Justine Enna. And you wonder if there's a little message sent here. Serena just drives this ball right at Ennin. Good reactions. And tries to get it over ahead, but not quite. And Ennin comes right back to Serena. Already pumping her fists. There's a lot of great athletes uh, on the women's tour. And you she's might be Ennin looking at... Uh, two of the uh, best. Two, <laughs> two, maybe, I was going to say maybe the two best, but then and I thought, Venus, you know, yeah, I was going to... Exactly, well. so... Well, that's uh, that's the point, but I mean, you, you saw an example of it there of Enna's athletic ability. Love fifteen. Justine Enna at fifteen at love fifteen. Well, Serena won the 
championship at Miami, defeating Anna there. Anna had match point. Lost to her at Wimbledon, uh, did uh, Williams in their career. Five and six is Anna against Serena Williams. Eleven meetings between these two, and all of them have been significant matches and significant tournaments. Which, uh, there was a little bit of, uh, shall we say, a bad feeling, particularly the one in uh, the French Open, in which uh, Serena Williams thought uh, Anna had been unsportsmanlike. But they've gotten over all of that. There's mutual respect out there. I don't think they're going to well, go. They're both such tough buddies, competitors. They're not going to carry that on. They're going to let their racket do the talking. Yeah, no question. At least there's now a modicum of mutual respect. 40-15. That's long from Serena. 40-15. Enna already up a break. See her thumb. Not taped, and it certainly doesn't look like it's given her any trouble throughout this event. Oh boy, she set that point up perfectly. Richard Williams. He now needs two games to love for sets. Serena's father and coach just missed that volley completely. Yep, and the expression on her face showed it. There's her mom, Morrissey. Of course, they're divorced and not sitting together, the parents. But uh, You don't see her too emotional. <laughs> <laughs> She's feeling the nerves as well. Both the parents here for the tournament to support both of their daughters. And uh, there's uh, an apparent uh, truce for that noble and right purpose to be here to support the girls. Fifteen love at love two. forehand from Anna there. We mentioned that Serena, even though she's gotten through four matches to get to this quarterfinal, has not been happy with her own play, and including uh, her service, which uh, she just hasn't been able to kind of get grooved on and be consistent with, and most people think it's still the best service in the women's game. So it's a big weapon for her, and she needs to have it in sync. Absolutely. That is going to be key tonight. We haven't really seen her unleash the power in her serve yet. I don't think she's really had the full confidence in it. She just isn't, uh, isn't able to count on it. So she'll probably be tentative until she gets a little bit of a groove going. And if she has a game at love, that's helpful there. And it's two games to one. Draw start winding down and fewer matches. The juniors start, and that's always fun to go out to the outer courts to watch them and see the bright young stars play. Absolutely, and there's some exciting ones out there. Some of them played in the main draw, getting that kind of experience. Fifteen love. Fifteen love, and is serving at two one up a break. Opening set, best of three women's quarterfinal. Thirty left. Martina Navratilova. Such. Thrilling to watch her last year take another title with the mixed doubles here at the U.S. Open. Oh, yeah, unbelievable. And she'll be playing in the Masters, the 35 and over. She's playing some singles. 
No way that she would miss this match tonight. If she was going to be a spectator at a match, it was going to be this one. She's been doing some TV commentary as well in her new life, retired from the main tour. 30-15. Terrific get by Serena Williams. Yeah, nothing wrong with the shot from Henna, that's for no, sure. No, it was a beautiful wide backhand. Just the power she can generate on the run is just amazing. 30 all. Forty seconds. That's going to be key, too, for Justine Ennen in her first serve. We all know what Serena Williams can do to a second serve. Needs to get a high percentage. Game point for 3-1 for Ennen. Brought it down the tee. That was successful. And she is up three games to one, opening set. Well, now we're going to find out about Serena right here. Still looking for her first serve. Henna started in there. That was a bold move. And she paid the pass from Serena. Well, you better make sure you do something with the shot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or you're going to be paying for it that, all night. That's how bold it was <laughs> for her to follow that. Not her best approach. 15 love. Second serve. 13. Well, so Anna making it a little easier for oh. Serena here certainly feel the tension of both players. Yep. They haven't settled in yet. Fashion note, that bow hasn't re <laughs> reappeared that was on that dress in the first round. No, that's too short. Yep. Tim, we might have to get you your own fashion show after this U.S. <laughs> Open. <laughs> well, I, I, frankly, I think the dress looks better without the bow. <laughs> you and Johnny Mac. <laughs> 40 love. Key game for Williams. And well, she knocks that long. Again, it wasn't a great return from, from Anna. But Williams knocks it long. Sure, uh, Richard waiting for her to make a, a big winning shot of some kind and then let out a shriek and kind of. Yeah, we haven't heard her. She's not even grunting yet. Right. And, it, you know, and not that that's necessary, but it's always a sign that she's involved. <laughs> well, that cord goes out and alive here. 40-30. Carlos Rodriguez. Justine Ennum's longtime coach. And part of her family now. Oh, yeah. He's seen her through some happy times and dark times. Oh, yeah. And, and a loyal man. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a deuce. loosely played forehand. A couple of those from Williams. That gets the score to Deuce. So Serena still unsettled. So is Hannah. You see her so much now that you can you can almost look at the facial expressions. Actually, both yes. these women and kind of yes. see. I mean, she is she's uncomfortable too. See, they're well, both she, tense. She, she'll admit it too. She she battles with her nerves. Yeah, 
So without uh, without Rudy showing her best stuff, Williams gets through that all important game to 3 2. Backhand. And at 3 2, 15 love. Breaking in the opening uh, game of this first set. Another forehand error. Well, I only show one up here, but I can picture two others she's had already. So sometimes the official yes. scorer doesn't see things the same way that we do. Oh. Having said that, they don't break the errors down into forehand and and backhand, just the uh, the winners. So, but if they did, we would see several more on the forehand side for Anna. There's one there. Fifteen seconds. I'm sure Serena's going to pick up on that and start pounding that forehand side. Well, she's got to start pounding something here because yeah. it is 2 3. Or 3 2, uh, Anna. And she needs a break back. And the, the forehand error. Yes, yep. much more positive play from Serena Williams. And she was definitely picking on the forehand side of Ennen. And that's the movement we talked about. She hasn't been asked to move so far until this game. And, and I, that could be the thing that unlocks her because. Yeah, when you're nervous, the first thing to go are your feet. She's definitely moving better now than she has in wow. some time. And an ace will bail you out lots of times. It's still a break point. Ready to go. Yeah, they, they, they want something to <laughs> cheer about. Second serve. Serena putting a lot of pressure moving forward on the second serve. Climbs back to Deuce from two break points down. Good return. Oh, and she misses the backhand. She had Anna backing up for an excellent return of serve. Carlos looks rather intense tonight. <laughs> yeah, I think that tension is being felt by everybody, certainly anybody close to the players. So Anna from two breaks, break points down is now at game point to go up 4-2. She 
had the play. She knows it, and that little yelp might help her too. But it's uh, nonetheless 4-2 for Enna. Enna leads four games to two for set. And right now, Tim, Serena Williams has just got too many unforced errors. Just to tighten up her game. She needs to do it quickly to stay in this first set. Seven unforced errors for Serena Williams, five for Enna. It's called out and Enna looks inquiringly at the chair, but she's not going to challenge. Fifteen love. Found her voice. She found it when she shrieked and when she knocked that easy volley long, giving a 4 2 lead to Enna. I think actually that'll help her. Oh, I do too. Yeah. Instead of holding everything inside. 30 love. That was a good serve. And another air from that forehand wing of Enna. Hit from Enna on the return that time. So the hold at love for Serena Williams. We're at 4 3. Enna leading in the opening set of this quarterfinal, the U.S. Open. Enna, who is not exactly loose herself in this first set. I'm not quite sure she's completely lo loose yet. No, that's what I'm saying. She's, yeah. she's not there yet. Neither one of them. has got the edge with that opening break of serve. 15 love. It's wide on the backhand. The match at Wimbledon in the quarterfinals was a three setter. Which Hannon prevailed in. Wide for Minna. 30 15. And unless uh, Serena can turn this around right now, she'll need two sets to win this match. Games running out on her in the opener. Seem to find a rhythm. We've seen, the, you know, even in the matches that she's she's won fairly easily. There's Dad, look of concern on his face, and she uh, she's spent a lot of time, you know, kind of beating up on herself because she knows she's just she's just not playing well. well she's a perfectionist. And now leads five games to three. So five three. Justine Enna on the strength of that opening break of serve. But I'm sure when she when she started at, off at the Australian Open, she wasn't playing perfect tennis either, and she was able to get on a roll and play herself in, into the finals and played terrifically, almost flawless tennis in that final against Sharapova. And is starting to loosen up. A little LA, that's her uh, 
Vamos or come on in French of course let's go and so she's uh, now looking to me like she's a little more confident you can see the, the look in her eyes a little more relaxed and fired up she's smart she wants to take the crowd out of it too Missed the backhand. 15 all. 18 unforced errors already for Serena. Only six for Justine. Well, she's starting to crank up the serve. That was 119 miles per hour. Second ace for Serena. Her fastest of the night. Oh, that's a good shot. And well behind the baseline. Forehand dipping. Serena. Serena at the net. Yeah, and Justin gets over there and just hits a heavy ball with a lot of spin and it just drops at Serena's feet. It's under a great acceleration. And a miss on that return. Forty thirty. Try and get to uh, five four. She is in search of a good serve here at the game point. Missed it. Deuce. Deuce. Good deep drive that time from Serena. That's a good first serve. Five four. Anna will serve for the first set. It's all on Serena now. down the backhand side. Well, Serena this time didn't overplay. And that's all she needed. Didn't need any more than that. Good serve, jamming her. And well played, Anna came right, came right in behind that. She realized she had backed her up. 15 all. 15 all. Much you can do when you get jammed. Smart serving by Justin Ennen. Quickness, athleticism on the part of Enna. Around on that forehand shot to the open court. 
Doing a good job of keeping Serena off balance. Not a big frame, but boy, she can generate just as much power. Second serve at 30-15 and 5-4 here in the first set. Oh, Tim, that's tough, huh? another <laughs> problem for Justine when she gets nervous, the serve. Tough to close them out. Huge match for both women. This is about the battle of the nerves right now. Well, it's called. Call good and it looked like Serena hesitated for a moment, but uh, she's not quarreling with anything. 30 all. That was awfully close. Yeah, it sure was. I thought she might challenge. It's too late now. I think Justine was expecting her to challenge as well. Good serve. On the line. Forehand error by Anna. That's Tentative, Justine Annan. That's getting the crowd into it here. Those supporting Serena at the U.S. Open, the American woman, of course, wanting to see her pull out this first set if she possibly can. Missed it. Good play by Serena Williams. And Serena attacking the ball, being a lot more aggressive in this point, especially on the second serve, and that's what gets her the first strike of the ball, forcing that passing shot wide. Break point to even at five all, first set. Everybody know with a come on. Nail that second serve. Tons of confidence on this return. No hesitation. No, and she never moved back. She was inside that baseline. Serena's camp encouraging her. Five all. Serena Williams serving. First set. Break a piece. Back and miss. Gotta still be on Anna's mind. She just gagged on that first serve when she really needed it. Yeah, and she just was tentative. She didn't go for it. She didn't take the initiative. Got to be careful to open the door to Serena Williams. And Williams, who has played tentatively throughout the set, may suddenly now, uh, with that last game, be able to get herself untracked. This is a forehand there off the net board. 15 all. No. Nope. 
tremendous first serve helped Serena Williams out. Mom Orison looks like she's a nervous wreck. Best shot selection. Serving and volleying. Just looked like she didn't know what to do with that shot. Not a good play. Finds herself at 30 all here. Five all. Forehand from Serena. Just when it looked like she might finally have gotten herself going here. And that's what it, it looked like. Yeah, the errors come back, and that may help to loosen up Enna. Is not exactly, uh, you know, with uh, the the oil running through her muscles. She's she still looks tight. They both do. That's a good serve. Yes. Yes. I think if Serena can start getting her serve going, she starts getting a higher percentage in. That'll boost her confidence. Break point save to Deuce. Excellent play by both players and the quickness of Enna. Coming up with that good little angle on the last shot. She gets up to this awfully quickly, and Serena just can barely get that back over, and then a little cow, cat and mouse game. Break point again. Uh -huh. okay, he's delivered to wipe that out immediately. Looks like Ennen will challenge. Third ace if it stands up. Well, no challenge. No, I guess she didn't challenge. Deuce. It's a hundred and twenty mile hour miss. Forehand again. And Kathy said that is her, her less good shot. But she does stick with it. And so far she hasn't found a groove on the forehand. Game point for 6 5. Pass. That's the deuce. And Serena's trying to attack, put the pressure on N and make her come up with the shots, and she just had too much time to set up and too many options. <laughs> there we go. Now she's starting 121 miles per hour. Fourth ace for another game point. Done by Anna. Caught Serena flat footed, <laughs> leaning the other way. Looks like Serena's trying to throw in a little variety and keep Justine guessing. Nice set 
second serve from Serena Williams. Good serve, and Williams hung in there long enough. She's got a 6-5 lead. Stadium is completely full. Anna's yeah. got to find her first serve again. 56%. That's not bad, but in these critical moments, she's going to need it. First serve in. A little bit of a rally there, and the forehand missed by Serena. Dean Love. Justine Ennen looking to her corner after almost every. Oh, point. she does all every time. It doesn't matter what the game is. The Importance of it, whatever. That's that's what she does. You start to think she doesn't have confidence in herself, but it's just I think more of a routine. Uh, what a terrific volley! And she just loosened up in this game, the critical one to get into a tie break. We'll find we'll out a lot about nerves, say huh? That. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if she gets to the tie break, I mean, we'll really know about the nerves here. And they have to play that here in the opening set. She's two points from that. She's got to get there. Double fault won't help. No, that's her third. 30-15. Boy, you don't see her miss that very often. That's why I said cautiously optimistic. She just looks very tight. They both have throughout the whole set. Thirty all. Twelfth meeting these two outstanding players. Loosely <laughs> played forehand, struggling now, break point for the set. Way inside the baseline. Good serve, pulled her over. She misses the forehand return back to Deuce. That was a gutsy second serve. Serena had already committed to moving forward. was sitting there for nice little gift and is only won 47 percent of her second serves A wasted opportunity there for Serena there's another look at a second serve Ooh. 
Jones. Doubles. Another double fault. The deuce. Four double faults in the set. And Justine Enna. Her service percentage is just dropping. Backhand ends it and then with another game point to force the tie break. She struggled with her serve in these critical moments and then winds up forcing the tie break with an ace. Her third of the match. And we're into the tie break. Well, we said this would be the real test of nerves because neither one of them has played with any real confidence so far. Finished off at the net with a good volley from Serena Williams. Serena made a terrific get on this last right backhand. Here. Yep. Oh, it wasn't the volley, of course. It was that little groundy she chased down. A terrific job by Serena there. Long run. And showing the movement we talked about, we've seen in the early matches from her. It just hasn't been much opportunity to show that the way this first set's been played. <laughs> Tie break. Long, well long, the offensive lob try. Two one in it. Good serve. Right into the body of Enon. To all. First to seven points. You must win by two in the tie break. The change ends after six points have been played. Good. Nice 
deep yep. return. Right to the baseline. That ball will skid a little bit on that white stuff. So if you're not in position on it, it can be difficult. Caught Serena off guard. Three points to two. An ace from Enna to four points to two. And they'll change in. Serena's going to challenge first. All is good. The call stands. 4 2 Enna. Williams has two challenges remaining. Tie break records. Not surprising. Almost the hour mark. Oh, that's a good in at play. Five points to two. And we'll have to see if Ennin can close out the tie break. Next two service points to Serena Williams. Well, she tried to force the issue and that forehand has just not been consistent for her at all in this first set. Justine Ennen. Slugging it out from the baseline. Takes control of this point with the big forehand. Six points to three. Set points for Justine Enna. has the set. It was a long struggle from that break in the opening game. A very tensely played first set by both players, but the top seed prevails to take a one set lead. Justine Enna will open the second set, having won the first in a tie break. Be interesting to see if uh, one or the other or both can relax a little bit here in the, in the second set. That was about as tense a first set as I've seen. These are two experienced players, but it just shows you how much it means to each of them, even though it's the 12th time they've played each other. Arthur Ashe Stadium Court, the scene for this women's quarterfinal match. A very tensely played first set, as we said, and neither player able to relax much. We'll see what happens here. Williams let that one fly. What was Justine Ennin? Raising her level of play in that tiebreak right when she needed it to. Just the difference of a few points. Six points to three in the tiebreak. And she's down at love 30 here in the opening service game. Gets one back there. 15 30.
beautiful play, hitting that right behind Serena Williams. Look at that, one of the prettiest backhands in the game. Dirty all from Love 30 for NN. Mm -hmm. Now a little more of the play we've seen at one or six tournaments this year, the most of any woman coming into the U.S. Open. Is that Monica Sellis. Well, Monica, looking great. I'm sure she's appreciating the, the play of these two women and, and wistfully wishing she was still able, but the bad foot finally knocking her out of the competitive side of tennis. And there's a good finishing blow from Enna. With, uh, if we're reading it correctly, is the one of the two that's loosened up at this point. Of course, she's got the set in hand. She's continuing her role from the tie break. We look at 21 unforced errors for Serena Williams in the first set. 19 winners for Ennin. It really just came down to a couple points here and there. It was Ennin. Really took control of the tie break. Now going to that slice, which can be effective again. Love 15. And Justine's movement suggests that her nerves have settled. She's moving forward. Starting to control this match. Big serve from Serena there. The fastest of the night at 124 15, miles per 15. hour. Cracked that at 118. We got a good reply from Enna. It winds up with the point. And she's starting to attack a little bit more. Two break points. Game two of the second set. Ah! Ah! No mistake right the there. Corner. Yep, that's a good shot. Got the net cord and killed it. One breaker saved. Another big serve. And that's one part of her game. She really needs to step up. Come on, Orsine, don't give up yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's one person that can pull this off. She knows better than anybody. It's her daughter. Love lead as she did in the first set. Justine Anna is raising the bar. Well, on the record, the best player this season on the Sony Erickson WTA Tour. 
six tournament victories. 47 and four record coming into this match tonight. On the French <laughs> Open semifinalist at Wimbledon. And she might challenge that. She had sliced the ball and it was spinning nice away. But looked like it was wide. I thought she might have got it, so we'll see. That's why we have this now, and it's great. Ah, ah. You're right. yeah, and I think that the linesman might have been unsighted there too, because Serena was moving right in front of him when the ball hit the line. Carlos Rodriguez happy with that. Coach of Justinena. Oh. Replaying the point, second serve here. Finally got three or four groundies there. With, fired with some uh, real intention. Love 15. Set puts her at love 30. Carlos doesn't want her to give this break right back that she just achieved in game two. A little look here for Serena. Uh oh. Unable to do much with that half volley. This is a tough shot. A lot of spin, and that ball just drops right in front of Serena. Can't do much with it, but just throw it back over. In within a speed, you know, she's going to get oh, to a ball like that. She's a terrific athlete. She was well back from the baseline, but she was able to track that down. 15:30. That's a good serve. Pretty all. Five winners now for Justine Annan. Long from Williams, game point Anna. The series goes back between these two. 11 matches played all the way back to 2001 at the U.S. Open. Serena won that first time in the round of 16, 7, 5, and 6 love. And it's been a constant battle. Big matches between the two of them. The last outing, Anna winning at Wimbledon, the quarterfinal, and that's uh, where the thumb injury hampered Serena. So Justine Enna holds on despite the break point opportunities and she leads three love. And we said at the outset that Serena has won four matches but hasn't been happy with her own play. We saw a lot of the grimacing and stamping her feet and just knowing that she wasn't totally on her game. She was able to win but now she's in against the best player in the world. And it, it's as though coming into the match she knew she wasn't really in top form. I don't mean condition because right. I think she's in great condition. But top tennis form. Now of course she hasn't played 
until this tournament since uh, since Wimbledon. But she's had four matches under her belt. Didn't drop a set. But she just doesn't seem to to, to feel good about herself. And that that's what she's showing out there. Well, she gets well, I to think 30 a lot of here. people we were expecting Super Serena to show up as she did at the Australian Open. It was the same scenario. And uh, Justine Ennen just a little too tough so far tonight. And then Ennen wins that rally. 30-15. Oh, she's keeping the heat on. Well, she's keeping Serena off balance. Literally. <laughs> yes, literally. <laughs> By playing behind her. Thirty all. Oh. Call a footfall. I think just a or fault. Did he, yeah, fault. It, it came, overruled the. Yeah, it came from the chair. Yes. Yeah. Important for Serena to win one of those baseline rallies. She's like much it. better when she grunts, Tim. <laughs> well, you're right. I mean, uh, she's been quiet tonight. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just sporadically, kind of getting into it when, especially in the rallies there, where she can almost use it as a, a rhythm creator. Time here on this. A strange looking first serve there. She hit it almost like a second serve. Only 72 miles per hour. See, Anna now is just teeing off on everything. I mean, she's she's totally relaxed. With that set in hand and a break here well, in the, in the also second. She has a large lead here in the second set. So that second serve was only 78 miles per hour from Serena. And Justine taking advantage of it. And Serena never could recover. Do second serve at love three. She gets a game point on the air from Anna there. Shot. And she's got herself a game here on the second set. Three games to one. And is still up a break with a set in hand. Well, there's no doubt Serena Williams is a competitor and a fighter. Well, they both are. Yes. In fact, when we, when we talk about this women's uh, 
group of top players. You know, you're talking the two Williams and Sharapova and, and NM with uh, probably equal amounts of competitive zeal. Boy, that you know they're going to fight to the bitter end. And it's and their intensity level from the first point to the last point. And it's just not going Serena's way. She's just uh, continues to struggle trying to find some consistency, some rhythm on her ground strokes. You get two or three going, you think, okay, she's finding a groove, and then comes a loose air. That's right, she's just having a hard time stringing the points together. And that's what Ennin's been able to do. Love at 3 1. And it's serving at just 51 percent on first serve. Not been the better part of her game in this match. And another double That's fault for number six. Well, neither player really serving that great tonight. I mean, Serena's only at 56 percent. Call, but it is out. A chance here for Serena. 30 all. 3 1. Crowd trying to get her into it. And it's got to find her first serve again here. Good return. Out. Couldn't get command of the point despite the excellent return. And against somebody else, that return would have been almost the end of the point. But Justine Ennen is just such a great athlete. She can control that power and get herself right back into the point. 40 30 at 3 1. And making it a lot harder on herself. Not getting those first serves in and essentially giving Serena a good whack at the second, but Serena hasn't been able to take advantage of this very often. It's long. Deuce. Can miss that got Serena excited. A break point. The first of this set. Four break opportunities and only been able to convert one. 
She desperately needs this one. That could change the course of the match. Could. Mm -hmm. No, good. I, I disagree. <laughs> Serve was long. Into it. Long from Anna. Change of errors. The break point, second for Serena in, the, uh, Serena in this game. And the only two she's had in the set come right back to back. Let service. I almost think Hannah would be starting to just take a little off the. You know, she's not hurting her when it's when it's in very often with her first serve. Just make sure it gets in. That's better. Uh, one of the best overheads in the game. Deuce again at 3-1. Two Beautiful break point save. Technique. What is it about that technique? Just great racket extension and perfect footwork. Snaps the wrist. Can't find her first serve. 49% now, Anna. It's long. Game point for 4 1. This is not the uh, best tennis that either of these players have shown in the past, for sure. But the number one seed has kept control. Serena's never been ahead. Thank you. One of her better serves, and she goes up 4-1 with a set in hand over Serena Williams here at the U.S. Open. So she is running out of games and time here against the top seed. She played with more confidence in this first Rounds. Well, but she wasn't playing Anna, right? Exactly. I mean, yeah. And she wasn't playing against someone who could control her power like Justine Anna can. Love 15 second serve. And of course, each point that goes by like this, Anna grows in confidence. And she was tight when the match started. For much of the first set, for that matter. Forehand. She's had a problem with her forehand tonight. It hasn't been uh, because Serena's not playing in at her best. Uh, that forehand problem has not been too big a problem for Anna. Her service has certainly let her down. She hasn't served well at all. The little trouble she's been in has come from that. Well, needless to say, neither player is playing their best tonight. No, that's exactly the case, which, you know, sometimes a highly anticipated match has turned out like that. It's not over yet, but it certainly does not look good for Serena. Down a set in 
and 15-30 in this game. And as erratic as Serena's been, she had chances in that oh, first yeah. set. And she's actually had a few openings in the second to get back into it. She just can't string a couple points together and take advantage of her opportunities. <laughs> 15, 30 seconds, sir. And uh, inside the baseline. <laughs> Oh, and she gets that beautiful backhand on it. Was she ever, and it came right into the wheelhouse. The backhand side. Two break points for her to go 5 1. It's out. And Justine Enna will be serving for the match. Five games to one in the second. So the Belgian star in pursuit of a second U.S. Open victory. Trying to get through uh, what should have been a big hurdle for her here in the quarterfinals. The eighth seeded Serena Williams. Throughout the seating, Serena was one of the favorites coming in here. And this uh, highly anticipated match has uh, been a disappointment in terms of the caliber of play, but Justine Enna is not going to worry about that. I'm sure, she won't read tomorrow's newspapers, and she's up 30 love. From this half of the draw, the remaining quarterfinal matches Venus Williams, playing perhaps the best tennis of anybody in the tournament against Jelena Jankovic, the athletic Serbian. Anna finishes that point up crisply, and she has three match points. Men who are coming out here to follow this will be glad that it was only a two setter. It's already almost 10 o'clock Eastern Time in New York City because the long matches played on the Ash Court earlier today. So Rafael Nadal and David Ferrer will be coming out after this one. And they're going to be playing past midnight no matter what. Well, Serena comes up to the point here to stay in the match. Still two match points for Anna. Justine Enna advances to the semifinals, finally allows a smile to briefly cross her face there. Meeting Serena at the net. 7 6 and 6 1 for the top seed with the best record in women's tennis this year and trying to rack up another U.S. Open championship to go with the one she won back in 2003. 